Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation of the three main components of a successful strategy. Welcome, my name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. I want to thank you all for joining us today. Thank you to Andrew Keene for having this presentation in conjunction with he and his website. Uh, my name is Stephen Primo. I'm, as I stated, I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And for those of you unfamiliar with our website, we are first and foremost an educational company. Uh, it's our goal to teach you all the things that I've accumulated in my 37 years of trading so that you can ultimately empower yourself with all this knowledge and make your own trading decisions because it's, it's our opinion that too many traders are losing because they are relying on outside sources to make their trading decisions for them. So we supply all of our members and students with sound knowledge and strategies and tips and techniques, once again, that I've accumulated so that you can really bring your trading up to the next level. And just to give you a little background about myself, I've been trading for 37 years. I started on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange where I was, a, uh, I was on the floor for 16 years. I was a specialist for Donaldson, Lufkin, and Jenrette for nine years. I traded through uh, many different environments. I traded through the crash of 1987 and through the bear bull market, excuse me, that started after that. I've traded through quiet markets, crazy markets, straight up, straight down markets. And in the mid-90s, I left the floor to manage money and also to uh, pursue my own trading. Uh, I've traded just about every market imaginable. And six or seven years ago, I got such a large uh, following of, of teaching independ independently and teaching students on my own that I started my own website where I just mentor and teach all the things that I personally use in my own trading. Now, today we're going to teach you about the three main components. These are great because you can actually use these as early as tomorrow. But before we begin, as always, I ask that you please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results using these three main components. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. So as you're taking a moment to view our disclaimer, I'd also like to say and invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. Here is our handle here, as you see, at SPCLSTTRADG. We post a lot of new and free information on a daily basis. Uh, we post signals that we are currently in. In fact, uh, just a day or so ago, we posted a sell signal in the S&P markets, in the E-mini S&P, and uh, many of our members uh, exited that in one day with a quick 10-point gain. So there's a lot of free, great information, not only in the E-mini, but also in stocks, as well as the Forex market. So feel free, and I invite you all to follow us on Twitter. Now, as I stated in the beginning of this presentation, we are first and foremost an educational company. Even though we provide all of our members and students with strategies and signals on a daily basis when they're generated, it's more about teaching you how to trade with this specialist edge so that you don't have to rely either on us or anyone else to tell you how to trade. Ultimately, I want all of my students and members just to get all the information, soak it all in, and then be able to leave and trade on their own. That's really, in my opinion, how you become successful. This is the way my mentors taught me on the floor, and this is what got me to become a consistent trader, and this is what I teach all of my students and members. So my goal is not simply to force feed you with signals and tell you what to buy and what to sell. My goal is to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. I'm going to give you some great Great information today, but before we begin, I noticed that some people may have joined us a little bit late. Uh, I like to take my questions at the very end of the presentation. So if you have any questions, kindly write them down or remember them. I promise I'll get to them at the very end. So if you have any questions, uh, kindly just remember it. And in the last 10 minutes or so, we'll reserve four questions and we'll answer anything you may have. Okay. And plus, I'll tell you about a great, great discount we have today on, on many of our products. So with that said, here is what you are going to learn today. All right, I'm going to teach you once again these components. The first one is how to trade in sync. Everyone's heard this before that we should trade in sync with the market, but I'm going to show you the easiest and most powerful way to trade in sync with the market. Component number two, I'm going to share with you a price bar pattern. Extremely powerful. This price bar pattern you can use in virtually any strategy or any system you'd like. And then lastly, I'm going to sh share with you how to fine-tune your entries. This is a great technique that was taught to me on the floor that has really saved me a lot of money and gotten me into trades that were valid and confirmed that they were going in the direction I wanted them to. And then when we're going to put it all together at the very end, and I'm going to share with you a pullback technique. 
using all of these three main components. Now, this is not a full-fledged strategy, so I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, great, gosh, I'm going to learn all the rules to a strategy. This is just a technique. In other words, a technique is basically just a, a format or the groundwork for a strategy. It doesn't come with all the full rules, so I'm not going to give you everything because, once again, this is just an educational class today. Okay. Uh, before we begin, always, uh, I, I, I think a lot of you probably are asking, well, my only question is, Steve, is this recorded? I may have to leave early or I'd like to get a recording of this. Yes, this shall be recorded. At the end of the presentation, uh, we'll share, share with you how you can get a link to this record. All right, so let's start. Once again, hold off your questions till the end. And let's start off by looking at buys and applying these three main and successful components. Component number one. You must trade in sync with a trend. Now, this goes without saying, and I'm sure you've all heard this before, and I'm sure you all trade this be this way before. If this is the main thing that most students learn, if this is trading 101, then why are most people losing? Why are 80% of most traders losing? And when I say losing, I don't mean going into a slump, basically losing all of your trading capital. Okay? Well, we feel it's because most people are taught very complicated uh, ways in which to discern what the trend is is. There are many and one ways to view what the trend is by looking at higher time frames, by looking at indicators. Uh, one trader's uptrend is another trader's downtrend. For example, let's look at this generic chart as we see right here. Someone just looking at this would say, well, Steve, there's no trend. We're basically just going sideways. We are in a range market. We go down and then we go back up. And then, you know, we're not really in any range at all. So how can we actually have any type of a trend? if we're just going sideways. So most people would stay out of this market and say, I'm not going to trade it. Well, it's not what we do at Specialist Trading. Our most simplest and powerful way in which to discern the trend is to add the 50 period simple moving average. That's it. All you have to do, regardless of what time frame, if you're looking at a daily bar, if you're looking at a weekly bar, if you're looking at a five minute bar, you should always have a 50 period simple moving average plotted, and then ask yourselves, where is price in relation to that 50 period simple moving average? If price is above, then the overall trend is up, okay? And that's all you need to know. That's how simple it is, okay? So rule or component number one is add the 50 period simple moving average. This works in any time frame, in any market, and in any direction. All right, component number two, now that we know that the first main component that's going to help you on to that consistency is we want to look for a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. Remember, we're looking from the long side now. So here's what we're looking for. If we look at that same chart where we're above the 50 period simple moving average, we want to see bars that close in the top quarter of their range. And when we say range, we're talking about from top to bottom. I know a lot of people get confused when you see a candlestick and you think, well, Steve, is it the range of the body? No. Whenever someone refers to range, that's the range, the entire movement of that day or of that five minutes or of that monthly bar. Whatever the bar is from top to bottom, that's the entire range. So what we want to do is divide it in four and see a bar that closes in the top quarter. All right. So if we look at this chart here, we have two bars that close in the top quarter here. They're colored in green. So these are the bars we're looking for. Why? Because when a bar is closing in the top 25% of its range and it's above the 50 period simple moving average, it's giving you a clue that most likely it's going to continue in that direction. Okay, and what a great clue. This is not a clue coming from a chat room or a trading room. It's not a clue coming from some course that you had to spend thousands of dollars. It's a clue coming from the market itself. So it's that simple. These are the only things you should be following. All right, and the third and last component is an entry technique. It's a fine-tuning of your entry, and that's simply you want to enter upon the confirmation of trend. So, so what does that mean? I thought we already found the trend when price was above the 50-period simple moving average. Well, here's what we mean by the confirmation method. We're going to buy, and on the next bar only, if price trades one to five ticks above the bar that closed in the top 25% of its range, or these bars that were colored green. So in other words, if we look back at these bars that were closing in the top 25% of their range, we only want to buy if we trade one to five ticks above, as we see here right here in the green horizontal line. And we have to trade above there on the next bar. Now, a lot of traders get confused. They say, well, Steve, do we have to close above there? No, we just have to intra-bar trade above there on the next bar. 
and that's your signal to enter. And as you see here in this example, you would have entered here, and you had about five bars that continued in the upward direction. All right, not a lot, but at least the, the, the technique was working, and you were at least going in the right direction. But remember, we're going to be looking for a lot of these instances. And here was the other one. We would have gone long if we traded one to five ticks above this bar, and you would have entered it on the very next bar because you traded above, and then look what happened. So you see how all of these things, the three main components, will help you to get on that road to consistency. We're not looking at tons of indicators. We're not listening to any news. We're only listening to the one thing you should be listening to. This is what my mentors taught me, and that's the market itself. So in other words, just look at the chart in front of you. Forget about what's going on in the news or what commentators are talking about or what's happening uh, you know, with some economic indicator that just was announced or some chat room. Just look at the chart in front of you. Keep things as simple as possible, and you'll get on that road to consistency. All right, so let's look at and see how we would apply this to sell orders. All right, same exact thing. We just reverse the rules here. Component number one, we want to be in sync with the trend again. Okay. But in this case, if we're looking at this particular example, one would say, well, Steve, there's no trend here. We're just kind of going downward and upward. We're in a range. But our rule is we add the 50-period simple moving average, and we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to that 50-period simple moving average? Obviously, in this example, price is below. So this tells us the overall trend is down. If the overall trend is down, we're only looking to go short. If the overall trend is up, we're only looking to go long. So in this, this instance, we're only looking for sell opportunities. In other words, we will never try to buy if price is below the 50-period simple moving average. It's a recipe for a disaster because you may see times when it does work really well, but ultimately, it's going to come back to bite you, and you'll probably give back everything you made on the other trades. And the same way, when price is above the 50, we will never try to short anything. We're only looking for buy scenarios, okay? Now we want to add component number two. We want to look for a bar this time that closes in the bottom 25% of its range. So if we're looking for bars now that originally closed in the top, now we're looking for bars that close in the bottom. So if we look at that same chart here, we are below the 50 periods of moving average, and we have a bar that closes in the bottom 25% of its range. Remember, we take the top of the wick and the bottom, and we simply divide by four. If we close in the bottom quarter, that's the bottom 25% of the range. And then lastly, we go to our entry technique for fine-tuning our entries. We enter upon confirmation of trend. Remember, confirmation just means that we're going to sell on the next bar if the price trades one to five ticks below the bar that closed in the bottom 25%. That's all that means. So if we look at that bar that we had earlier, this means that we only want to go short on the next bar, and we have to trade below this bar. All right, we have to trade one to five ticks below, and it has to be on the next bar. So we went there below intrabar. We don't have to close below there. We only have to trade there intrabar. So this was our entry point. So we fine-tuned our entry. We got confirmation. We're below the 50-period simple moving average, a bar that closed in the bottom 25%, and look what happened. Do you see how simple this is? Because you are in sync with the market. You're listening to the market, where the market that closed in the bottom 25%, it's giving you a clue that it most likely wants to continue in that direction, but we're waiting for confirmation, waiting for uh, the next bar to trade below it. All right? And as you see here, all along the way down, we have a number of bars that close in the bottom 25%. You can continue to go short, if you like, all of these bars and ride the trend down. All right, so here's the pullback technique we talked about. We just shared with you three components. Remember, these are just pieces of the puzzle which will help you get on that road to consistency. They will by no means form any type of a trading strategy. So let's put a little bit more structure to this. But please remember, we see here that this says a pullback technique. This is not a pullback strategy. This is not a pullback system. That would mean that it had to come with rules for exit. It had to come with rules for stop placement. It had to come with rules for money management. We're just talking about a technique for spotting a great uh, point of entry using these three components. All right? So here's what you want to look for. We want to see that price pulls back towards the 50. This means that if price is above the 50 period simple moving average, we want to see a sell-off or a downward slope in price 
coming back towards that 50 period simple moving average. It can be one bar, it can be a series of 10 or 15 bars, but we want to see it slowly going in the direction of the 50 period simple moving average. If price is below the 50, we want to see a nice jump in price or a rally in price. It could be one bar, it could be 10 bars, but the price is uh, rising towards the 50 period simple moving average. Now if we're going long, we want to see that the bar closes in the top 25% of its range. That's what we, that's what we uh, taught you earlier. That was component number two. If we're going short, we want to find a bar that closes in the bottom 25%. And then simply use your confirmation method for entry. So let's look at some stock examples and see how we could approach this. Remember, this is not, I know I'm probably going to get a ton of questions at the end of this saying, well, Steve, this looks great. Where would I exit? Or where would I place your stop? You can only ask those questions if this were a strategy. This is not a strategy. I'm just giving you pieces of the puzzle so that you can add this to the current strategy maybe that you're already using, or you can construct a strategy based off of this. But this is just three or four pieces of the puzzle. All right, so here's a chart of Apple. First thing we ask ourselves is where is price in relation to the 50? Well, price is above. So this means that we're only looking to go long Apple. We would not in any way consider, I don't care what someone says in a trading room, I don't care what someone says on TV or in a newsletter, to short it. We're not going to short Apple unless it would have gone below the 50 period simple moving average. But on this daily bar, it's above, and price is starting to slowly come back towards the 50 period. So we see here we have a bar that closes in the top 25%, and we've come back pretty well. Okay, So we would buy if it traded 1 to 5 ticks above on the next bar. Well, it did on the 27th of June. You could have entered roughly about 91, and the stock went up about five or six points in the next week or so. How about ESRX? Now, in this case, we are below the 50. So what does this mean? This means that we're only looking to go short. We're not even going to consider trying to pick a bottom or bottom fish in ESRX. Okay? These are daily bars. So we see price start to rally. Here's a bar that closes in the bottom. 25% of its range, but remember, we have to trade below it on the next bar, and we never did, so that's negated. But here's another one that closes in the bottom 25%. Even though it went above the 50 period for a little bit, it closed below. So for all intents and purposes, price is still below. So we can go short ESRX if we trade 1 to 5 ticks below that on the next bar. So we see the next day, we did close below, or I should say trade below it. It doesn't matter where we close on the 2nd, which was about a month ago in uh, July, at roughly 69, and the stock went down a couple of points in the next week. How about the diamonds? This is the ETF on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Price is above the 50, so we're only looking to go long the diamonds. This was back at the end of June, coming into July. We see price starting to sell off, and here's a bar that closes in the top 25%. So this means we can go long on the next day if we trade above it. All right, so let's see what happened the next day. Well, the next day we never got up that high, so this trade was negated. But guess what? This now closed in the top 25%. So this is a valid 25% uh, a bar that closed up in this top upper range. So we can go long if we trade the next day above. So let's see what happened the next day. Nope, we never got above, so there's no trade. But guess what? This last day here, I believe on the 27th to 28th of June, issued another close in the top 25% of its range, so we could go long again. Do you see the beauty of this confirmation method? It's keeping us out of getting long because we're only waiting for confirmation. This is the beauty of this technique because it fine-tunes your entry. If we had just gotten long at the market right here, I'm sure most of us would have been stopped out or thrown in the towel when we saw this downward day. Or if we've gone long here, we may have given up as well. But we're only waiting to see price trade one to five ticks above, which it did the next day on the 30th. So you could have entered roughly about 168, and the stock went up all the way to uh, two or three points in the next couple of days. You could also use this as a trend identifier. You could have transferred this over, and once a signal to go long was issued in the diamonds, this could have told you that the market most likely was going to go higher, so you could have purchased other, other issues that were less expensive. How about Textron? Okay, well, price was originally above the 50 period simple moving average, but then later on in the month we closed below, two consecutive closes. So now we are below and we're starting to pull back or rise up in price. We want to find a bar that closes in the bottom 25%, and this bar did. 
So we needed to go below that on the very next bar, but we never did. So there was no trade that took place. But the very next bar closed in the bottom 25% as well. So this is another setup to go short. All we need to do is trade below it. And we did on the second. So you could have gotten short roughly around uh, 38, 38 and a quarter, and made a few points in the next week to the downside. <clears throat> Let's use the same principle, the same components on this pullback technique trading the E-mini S&P. If we look at a 60-minute chart here of the E-mini, we are below the 50-period simple moving average on these hourly bars. This was on the 30th of July, just uh, last week. So we want to see price bounce up a little bit, as we did right here and then right here. Both of these bars closed in the bottom 25% on that little rise, and you could have shorted them right here. So on the 30th, look at the nice sell-off that ensued. And then another sell-off on the 4th, which was this Monday, we closed in the bottom 24, 25%, and you could have gotten short on the 4th, and look what happened, okay? Do you see how simple this is? We're not caring about any news, any reports that come out, anything that's going on in the world. We're only listening to what the market is telling us. How about a five-minute chart of the E-mini? This was on the 5th. This was Tuesday, okay? Price is below the 50 period, so this means we're only going to look to go short. We're not even going to consider to go long. I know a lot of you would say, well, gosh, you could have bought down here or bought here. It doesn't matter. Once again, that's a recipe for disaster because that will work a few times, but the time you buy and it doesn't bounce, you're going to give everything back. So it's much more conducive to being consistent if you just go with the trend, the overall trend. And if price is below the 50 period in this five minute chart or daily chart or weekly chart, it doesn't matter then that means the overall trend is down. That's all we're looking at. We don't need to look at a higher time frame. We don't need to look at a different indicator. All we're telling us is the overall trend is down, so we're looking to go short. doesn't mean we're going to short at the market. We still need to look for structure, but here's a idea for structure. So see these nice little pullbacks where we we'll rise back to the 50, another one. There are a lot of different pullbacks here. How could we have used that? Well, on each one, since we're in a downtrend, as you see, on each one of these pullbacks, we want to see a bar, once again, that closes in the bottom 25%. And guess what? All these bars did on those pullbacks. Look at all the selling opportunities you had yesterday to go short on a five-minute time frame of the E-mini, just using these simple three main components. How about a thousand tick bar chart? I believe this was uh, yesterday as well. This is when the, a rally ensued later on. As you can see here, we are looking at a thousand tick bar chart. In this uh, rally here, we are above the 50-period simple moving average, okay? So we want to see on these pullbacks a bar that closes in the top 25%. We had about roughly four of these examples where the bars closed after we had sold off, okay? So look at all the nice examples, even on a smaller time frame, such as a tick bar chart. We can still use this if you're a Forex trader. Forex traders like to trade daily to weekly to monthly bars. Let's look at a daily bar of the British pound. Now, for all intents and purposes, we are above the 50 period simple moving average. Even though we bounced a little below here, we are still looking to go long for the majority of this time. Every time we bounce below and close in the top 25, these were all actual signals that you could have looked on a little pullback. We look at the euro dollar here on a daily time frame and we see that originally price was above the 50 and then we crossed over right here and now we're below the 50. So we would have looked to go long first of all and then secondly looked to go on short. So we look for these sell-offs originally and once we had these sell-offs, here's a couple of bars that close in the top 25%. Each one of these or well, the market continued higher for the next week or so. But once we crossed below, now we look for these little rallies in price towards the 50 periods of moving average and then bars that close in the bottom 25%. So you see how simple this is following these techniques. So we just showed you a couple of daily bars. Here's a 60 minute chart of the Euro Yen. Obviously we're below the, six, the 50 period so we're only looking to go short. So we want to see these little bounces, these little pullbacks to the upside and then we want to find a bar that closes in the bottom 25%. Three really nice ones right here, actually four altogether, and you could have had some really nice gains going short in the middle of July. Okay, so let's recap all this. We shared with you the three main components 
for successful trading, for a successful strategy. First of all, you have to be in sync with the trend. Now, everyone knows this, but everyone has a different idea of what the trend is. I know a lot of people like to look at a higher time frame, and that tells you what the lower time frame should be doing. So you need confirmation between the two. To us, that's a little bit too complicated. All we want to do is add a 50 period simple moving average. That's it. We don't have to look and guess what time frame we should be looking at on a higher level. We don't have to think about that. The only thing we think about is where is price in relation to the 50 period simple moving average. If we're trading a five minute time frame, we ask ourselves that question. If we're looking at a monthly time frame, we ask the same thing. Therefore, if price is above that 50 period, we will never ever try to go short. We'll only look for long setups. And if price is below, we will never look to buy. We will never look to go long on a bottom fishing type of setup. We'll only look to go short. Okay, so you have to be in sync with the trend. And the simplest, most powerful way is simply to add the 50 period simple moving average. Secondly, we want to look for a bar pattern. This bar pattern will tell us a clue as to what the market wants to do. So if we're going long, we want to find a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. Why? Because the market most likely is going to continue in that direction. It's given us a clue as to where it wants to go. All right. If we're going short, we only want to look for a bar that closes in the bottom 25% of its uh, range, range from top to bottom, because it's given us a clue that most likely it's going lower. Remember, the market is the only thing you should be listening to. That's it. And when it closes in the top or bottom of its range, it's giving you a great clue as to what it wants to do. And then finally, we gave you a technique for fine-tuning your entries. This is the confirmation method. This means once you find these bars that close in the bottom or, uh, uh, or top 25% of the range, you don't simply want to buy at the market. You have to see that price trades one to five ticks above them on the next bar. Okay? That will tell you it's okay, it's confirmed, you can go long. Or one to five ticks below, it's okay, it's confirmed to go short. If you want to use these three components, you can construct your own trading strategy built off of these, or you can simply add them to any strategy that you currently use. Now, all the strategies we have at Specialist Trading use at least one of these in all of our strategies. Some, some of the times we use all three. Uh, most of the time we use at least two, but we have at least one of these always in place in any of our strategies or techniques. This is how powerful they are. And then lastly, I put them all together and shared with you a really nice pullback technique. But please remember, this is just a technique. It's not a full-fledged strategy. So ask yourself, do you think any one of these edges could have helped your trading last year? Just, just say you only wanted to use the 50 period simple moving average. Do you think that could have helped your trading? If you went back and looked at your last 10 or 20 trades, mostly the losses you've had, do you think it could have helped you by using that one simple technique? Or how about the confirmation method, using that instead of just buying or selling at the market, waiting for price to trade one to five ticks above the previous bar? Or only entering on bars that are uh, closing in the top or bottom 25% of their range. Do you think any one of those techniques could have helped your trading this past year? Well, in closing here, before we go to questions and answers, I'd like to share with you a great program we have. This is our Secrets of a Stock Exchange Specialist training sessions. This is an actual seminar I gave in uh, Denver, Colorado last year that was recorded. It was over three hours long and we recorded really nice quality recording of the actual seminar where I gave many more edges such as, such as the one you just uh, saw today, the ones I shared with you. We give many more high probability trading edges. We talk about which indicators to use and which ones not to use. I go into the definition of the uh, difference between a system and a strategy. I share with you the number one chart pattern that you should always be looking for. Uh, I tell you about being on the right side of the market, how to apply all these things to different time frames, to different markets, and to different directions. And then lastly, I give you the complete rules to another one of our consistent strategies. This is strategy number one. In fact, in my opinion, this is, uh, uses a couple of the components I share with you. It's one of our most consistent pullback strategies. Let me show you a few of the actual signals that were generated this last couple of months or so. Here was a signal generated in Facebook on the 9th of July, where as you see here, we had a really nice sell-off going. A lot of people would have thought we were falling out of bed, but strategy number one generated a buy signal, and all of our members who are in the strategy one course 
could have taken that long signal and look what happened. Ever since that, uh, uh, Facebook went up roughly from 65 all the way up to 75. So it's a good 10 points in a couple of weeks there. The strategy also has uh, short signals as well. Here are a couple of signals in Boeing just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the trend was determined to be down. As you can see on these two pullbacks, two signals were generated. The first one was very small, but the second one gave you a really nice sell-off and you could have had some really nice gains trading Boeing to the short side. CMG, a lot of people were talking about this in the last month uh, because of uh, the way it just uh, gapped up on some news uh, and went from roughly 590 up to 100 points. Well, strategy number one, weeks before the announcement came out, actually generated buy signals on the 8th of July and on the 17th of July. Okay, so you could have taken advantage of this as well uh, as trading CMG. Now, it's not just a stock type of strategy. You can also go short using this on the E-mini on a 10-minute time frame. These were two signals from last week. Uh, uh, this was on the 31st to go short on a 10-minute time frame. You see the nice gains that were there. We had another pullback and then the strategy generated another sell signal. This was on the 1st to go short. Here's a thousand tick bar chart. This was actually from yesterday, I believe. These are three signals or four signals to go long. This one actually didn't work out that well, but if you used our aggressive technique, you could have still stayed in the market as opposed to getting stopped out, or you could have taken this signal here, which was a nice gain. Each, each one of these would have had profits of at least two points in each one of them on a thousand tick bar chart. Most of these trades on that small time uh, frame would have lasted maybe five or 10 minutes at most. And then lastly, you see how you can apply this to the Forex currency pairs. This is a weekly chart of the euro dollar and look at all the buy signals that were generated on these pullbacks using strategy number one. Now strategy number one uses some of the components that we talked about. We actually used two of the components I shared with you in today's presentation. But there are many more rules that come with this. Uh, they're very simple but uh, it's totally different rules and we need the use of another proprietary tool to help us decide when the pullback has concluded and when we can enter. All of these rules to the strategy are complete in this three-hour video of the Secrets of a Stock Exchange. The beauty of this is, is that once you purchase this and become a member of the Stock Exchange Specialist Training Sessions, it's yours for life. It's a video so that it's not something that expires or is on a subscription. It's yours for life. So you can use these and use these high probability trading edges and go back to the video as often as you like and go back and review the chart number one pattern or the uh, strategy number one uh, rules as often as you'd like. Now we have these uh, posted on our website, Pro Trader Strategies, our uh, sister site, uh, for roughly close to a thousand dollars if you wanted to purchase this because there's so much information in this. But because of the collaboration we have with Andrew Keene today and for all the people attending, we are dropping this down to only thirty-seven dollars. You can get all this information, the three-hour video, which comes with all the edges, the uh, number one chart pattern comes with access to my personal email. It comes with strategy number rules and all the signals uh, that you just saw could have been generated automatically so that you know where to buy and sell. This all comes for $37, but this is for a limited time only. So if you're interested in taking advantage of this, here's how to contact us. As I stated, our sister site, which is Pro Trader Strategies, they promote and market all of our individual packages. So you can contact any one of their trading consultants at, by emailing them at trading at protraderstrategies.com or you can call them directly at area code 310-598-6677. So I'm going to leave that information up there so if you happen to uh, you know want to call up right now or, or send an email you can do that as well. If you look in your chat box to your right you'll see the link there, the automatic link. You can just press that on and go automatically and uh, take advantage of that $37 deal. If you bear with me, I'm going to open up the question and answer box. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let me ask, uh, answer a few questions you've asked. It says, uh, Sam asks, does this apply to any time frame you're trading or only on daily? That's a good question, Sam. Now, all the techniques I share with you, as well as the strategy, strategy number one that comes with that $37 discount, they apply to any time frame, any market, and in any direction. That's how that's how really powerful these things are because you know you're not just looking at something that is a uh, daily bar and it only works for stocks and you have to apply other things if you want to use it. Yeah, no, this this is simply transferred onto any market you're really interested in. 
that's the beauty of these. So uh, don't worry about if you trade stocks on daily bars or if you trade forex on monthly bars or if you trade the e-mini on tick charts. Same same rules apply, okay? Uh, Deborah asks, uh, sure would have. Uh, let's see, okay? Deborah, I don't know what you would have, but uh, I hope so. I hope you're going to take advantage of this. Uh, Stan says, uh, you really did not show any pullback techniques. Actually, yes, I did, uh, Stan. I showed how, you know, most people will look at a pullback and, and think that, well, uh, you know, price has, uh, is rallying and now it's starting to sell off. So I want to uh, buy on this pullback to the downside. But I shared with you that 50 uh, period simple moving average. So if you apply that, many times you'll see you're not following a pullback. You're following a move that's going to most likely continue lower. So once you know where price is in relation to the, to the uh, uh, 50 period simple moving average, then you know the correct way in which to discern what a pullback is. You know that if price is rising and you are above the 50 period simple moving average, well, that's not a pullback. That can only be a continuation in trend. But if you are below the 50 and price is rising, well, then that is a pullback because we're only looking to go short. So, yes, actually we did. We really went over that pretty well. Most people, you know, have trouble with pullbacks because they'll see that price starts to sell off and they'll say, you know, we've pulled back enough. It's come down to a Fibonacci level or some support. Uh, I was watching some guy on TV, and he says this is where support is. So I'll put a limit in here to buy on this pullback. And then if you simply added the 50-period simple moving average, you most likely see that we're below the 50. You'd never even look to buy anything. So the real secret here is where is price in relation to the 50-period. And once you know that, then, yes, that gives you everything you need to know about a pullback. That's one of the most important pullback techniques I think I can ever share with anyone. Okay. Uh, Mr. Schubert asks, what is the rule for exit points? I knew this question was going to be asked. <laughs> Once again, remember, we did not go over any strategies. All we did was share a technique. The only way you can have an exit, the only way you can have a uh, stop placement is with a full-fledged strategy. As I stated maybe five times, this was just a technique. It's up to you either to form a strategy based off of this, or you can... Uh, Take advantage of that $37 deal, and you'll find out where we place all of our exits, all of our stop placement, where all of our money management techniques are. For $37, I don't think you can beat that. Um, let me see. Does this training package include option picks? Hi, Jacqueline. No, this doesn't because we're, we're really not an option course, but we have a number of members who do trade options. And what they like to do is they like to simply wait for these signals to be generated and then simply buy long calls or, or buy long puts. So that's what they'll do. And they'll just take the same signals, transfer them over them to when they get to the exit point, and then they'll just exit the option. Or when it gets to the entry point, they'll just purchase the option. And a lot of people also in our courses like to trade weekly charts. So they can really get those nice movements. The same signals will apply on weekly charts as well. So you'll get these nice, big, large moves. So, so we do have a lot of people that trade them. They just simply take the signals but transfer them over. Instead of a buying a stock or the ETF, they simply buy the option. Okay? Um, once again, Marvin, where are we getting out of the trade? In order to get that, that wouldn't be fair to the people that purchased strategy number one. We have to, you know, be fair to them. They spent uh, roughly thousands of dollars just to purchase all that information. So uh, take advantage of the $37 deal, and I'm sure you'll, you'll be very happy with all the information you get. <clears throat> uh, Venkata is asking, how long is this archive good for? Well, you get the lifetime access, as you see there in the, in the answer uh, box, uh, sir. It, it's, you know, we're not in any way subscribing to this where, it, it, you know, you can see it for two weeks and then, it, you know, it disappears. This is yours. This is in good faith of our collaboration with uh, Andrew Keene. So just to introduce ourselves, we're giving you a ton of information. If you like the three components I shared with you, well, you're going to have dozens more in this video. You're going to get a full-fledged strategy, and you can email me with any questions you like whenever you'd like, for as long as you'd like, all for $37. So this is a great deal to take advantage of, okay? Um, Michelle is asking, uh, this is great stuff. I needed to hear this about four months ago. Do you ever use any other simple moving averages like the 20? Uh, hi, Michelle. Thank you for that. Well, no, we don't. You know, it's been my experience in 37 years that the 50 works the best in any market. See, if you go to a smaller time frame in the moving average, that's 
very good. That'll encompass some really nice shorter time frames. In other words, if you're trading intraday or uh, if you're trading, you know, such as, you know, hourly charts, something like that. But when you go to a 50, it doesn't, you know, I mean, when you go to a, a, a daily bar or a weekly bar, a 20 period moving average doesn't transfer over as well. Conversely, if you use a 200 moving uh, average, well, that's great for monthly charts and weekly charts, but it doesn't transfer over well if you're trading five minute bars. So the thing that I've seen that works the best in all markets is 50 period. It's not a magical number. If you wanted to use 55, it would be fine. If you wanted to use 60, that would be okay. It's just the main thing I want you to get instilled in, in, in your trading is just to use this concept where where's price in relation to the moving average you're using. That's the most important thing, okay? Because most of the time, if you see why you lost or why you made money, it was either because you were out of sync or in sync with this 50 period simple moving average. And that's one of the most important things. I've often told my students that if I were stranded on a, a desert island, I could only trade with one tool, it would be using the 50 period simple moving average. Because over time, that's going to have you become consistent. Obviously, sometimes it won't work. Obviously, you'll see some great shorts sometimes above the 50, or you'll see some great buys below the 50. But over time, it's a numbers game. And you want to have two steps forward, one step back. So over time, if you use that simple 50 period simple moving average, it'll really get you in sync with the overall trend, okay? Um, let's see. Deborah asks, the archives are available for $97 more? Yes, with the archives, there's a ton. Uh, that's just even more information. These are archive webinars I give with even more tips, more techniques, more rules to follow to elevate your trading. This is going back years and years that I, I uh, record for all of my members and my students. You have access to that. Just, just tons of archives for only $97. But that's if you decide to, to take advantage of that. It's up to you. Um, James says, is $37 a cost for the program? Is it a discount price for the package? James, we're offering for $37. Let me just go back real quickly. This is what we're offering for $37, if you can see this right here. This is a video uh, seminar that, uh, that was recorded that I, I did in front of hundreds of people in Denver, Colorado a while back. Okay? It gives you tons of information. It's a video, an online video course that you have at your disposal for a lifetime. So there's nothing you have to, you know, uh, sign back up on, nothing you have more you have to get if you don't want to, it's up to you. But uh, it, it gives you all this great information that you see right here, as well as strategy number one, all the complete rules to strategy number one. So you can start trading with that right away, as soon as you learn the rules. I showed you a lot of the actual signals that were generated with strategy number one. So that's $37 for all of that, okay? It's not just for one of those things. It's 37 for everything. It's a tremendous, tremendous package for only $37. I would really take advantage of that because it's only for a limited time. I'll go back to the information page if you're interested in that. <clears throat> uh, is the course on DVD? No, it's an online course, uh, W. Schubert. It's an online course. So all you have to do is, is log on online and you can get it there as often as you like. And once again, it's lifetime. Don't worry about it, you know. Uh, disappearing in a couple of weeks or you have to pay more in order to see it it's yours for life for thirty seven dollars that's that's how you know the, our students paid hundreds if not thousands of dollars for all that information but in good faith we're, we're sharing this with you for only thirty seven but that's for a limited time only this is not going to be thirty seven dollars for the next couple of weeks so if you want to take advantage you really have to uh, uh, step up to the plate in the next couple of days <clears throat> Uh, Charles asks, on a one-hour chart, do you use the 50-day simple moving average to determine trend, or do you use a different time frame? No, as I stated, Charles, I use the 50 for everything. It doesn't matter if I'm looking at a tick chart. I don't care if I'm looking at a weekly or a monthly chart. I use the 50 for everything, because in my 37 years, that has transposed over the best out of anything I've seen. Now, having said that, once again, there's nothing magical about that. I just want you to instill in your trading to ask yourselves, where is price in relation to that? If price is below, that's the most important thing. If price is below, only look to go short. And you, you don't have to trade one of my strategies. You can trade one that uh, someone else has, or you can trade your own. But just if you get a short signal, remember, it must be below the 50 period. If you get a long signal, it must be above the 50 period. All right? Now, 
as, as a homework assignment, go back and look at your last losing trades. I can almost guarantee that it, almost all of them are losers because you're out of sync with this simple rule. So you'll see how powerful this is. And I just share with that with you for free. Most of our students pay hundreds of dollars to get all of the things I just share with you for free. Okay? So these are great, great tips and techniques that I really think will elevate your trading, the things I shared with you today. Okay, the gentleman was asking about the pullback, how there really was no pullback te technique. Actually, there was. I mean, if you know that you are below the 50 period simple moving average and price is dropping, that's not a pullback. That's a continuation of trend. So it, it really helps you to know that you have to pull back towards that 50. Okay, that's really, a, it's, it, it's worth its weight in gold, just that simple little rule there. Same thing with the using the bar that closes in the bottom or top 25% of its range, and the same thing with using that confirmation method. I'll just answer a few more questions before we have to conclude here. Uh, do you show where to access the charting you use? Well, we, all, of our, all of our strategies are, are, can all be applied with all the uh, uploads and all the add-ons to the four major charting packages, uh, TradeStation, we also uh, use MT4, we also use NinjaTrader, and we also use Metastock. So any strategy we have or anything that you want to apply, any of our, our strategy with our add-ons with automatic buy and sell arrows can be applied to those as well. Okay? Uh, Let's see, uh, Thinkorswim, yes. What you have to do with Thinkorswim, Deborah, is that it doesn't automatically work with Thinkorswim uh, because they have a lot of restrictions. But if you're a Thinkorswim user, I believe uh, you, you most likely you're going through Ameritrade. And there's a deal with Ameritrade where you get NinjaTrader for free. So you simply would get NinjaTrader for free through your Ameritrade account. And then all of our, all of our packages can be used on NinjaTrader. So uh, we have a great tech support uh, team that can help set you up and they can do it with you and for you so it's it's really simple to put together we have nothing but uh, uh, great testimonials of people that say God it was put together it was fantastic it was so easy uh, so uh, as you see there in the answer box that uh, we can use thinkorswim data to run on our add-ons with ninja trader for free so it's a, it's a great great program okay um, Deborah you're more than welcome okay you're more than welcome uh, John is asking would you put the key back uh, uh, on the screen for us to connect with for the buying. Uh, yeah, let me just, uh, well, actually, here it is. As you see, if, uh, if you look back at the uh, chat box, uh, John, you can see that that's the link right there. You, you can see the link in the right. Uh, you can just click that on uh, where it goes uh, just uh, below the entire audience there. And it says to lock in the $37 promo deal, here's where you go. Just click on that link. Or you can call 310 598-6077. So here's where more information. Once again, you can either call, you can speak to some of our trading consultants for more information. But once again, this deal is not going to last a long time. So if you really want to take advantage of only $37, probably cheaper than most of your commissions, I would take advantage of this really quickly. Uh, yes, Lewis, once you, uh, Lewis is asking, are you getting the arrows how you enter? Yes, remember, we teach you all the rules. We don't just simply give you a charting program with arrows and you just buy, blindly buy or sell. We teach you what the rules are. But with our strategies, we also provide you with add-ons that have up and down arrows or different little buy and sell points so that you know where a actual signal setup has been generated. So we use those for educational purposes. You can always have them, but I don't even use them myself. I've been trading for so long with these strategies, I don't need them. But a good many of our members like to use them in the beginning, it's mostly as a kind of a checking resource way to know that they are in sync. If they think a signal was generated, and if they see an arrow is there, well, then they know that they're in sync and that they're actually learning the strategy, okay? Um, so that's, uh, so that's yes, yeah, so that kind of answers Lewis's question as well. We provide you, but that's with the strategies. Remember, I just shared with you techniques. You only get these arrows with a full-fledged strategy, but you get all the rules, and we have the add-ons that are sold separately if you want them. If, if you want just the add-ons without knowing what the rules are, you can get those separately, but you won't really know what the purpose is behind your buying or selling. Uh, can you go over what to do if we are on the uh, Thinkorswim platform? Oh, well, yes, Sarah. It, it really is simple. I believe you see right here, uh, on the, I believe uh, John asked the same question. You can use Thinkorswim data to run our add-ons. The add-ons are simply, you know, the buy and sell arrows and the strategies. 
with Ninja Trader. So what you do is uh, they will give you the Ninja Trader platform for free. And all you have to do is use the Thinkorswim data. And then uh, you can apply all of our uh, info, our add-ons, our strategies to Ninja Trader. It's extremely simple. And once again, our tech support uh, service does that with you. So we work with you so that you can have it up and running in just a, a matter of you know minutes. Um, yes, the arrows are for Ninja Trader as well. You can use those in Ninja Trader, TradeStation, um, MT4, and Metastop. Um, Jawahar asks, what does the membership include? Do you point out possible trades every day? Well, remember, we're talking about different memberships. It, it depends on what course you have. But for example, if you take the stock course or one of our strategy number four, which is a great strategy for trading just about any market, but let's say you take the strategy number four for stocks. On a nightly basis, I will post anywhere from five to ten uh, strategy number four signals but remember, these are for educational purposes only. The strategy will generate hundreds of signals every night. I'm posting the signals to help you spot what to look for. All right? They're not signals that you have to take on a nightly basis. I started out this presentation stating that it's our philosophy to empower you with this information so that you can make your own trading decisions. We just don't want you to blindly take signals and say, well, Steve posted this, so I guess I have to buy this tonight. No, I'm posting signals for educational purposes so that you know what to look for so that ultimately you don't have to rely on those anymore and you just go and, and take whatever ones you want so they're for educational purposes I only uh, post a portion of the hundreds that are posted each and every night all right you also get these signals posted for our e-mini course when they are posted on the the e-mini S&P and the uh, mini Russell you also get strategy Four posted for Forex uh, your strategy for Forex courses Okay, so, uh, but these are when uh, they're issued on daily bars. Obviously, we can't post them for every five-minute time frame. So that's why the strategies come with the add-on, the up and down arrow, so that you know when they're being generated on different time frames. Okay, uh, Deborah, the add-ons are separate if you just want to purchase them set without the the course. I think the best thing to do would probably be to contact the. Uh, uh, trading consultant as you see there and they can you know fill you in with any discounts or any actual prices for the add-on separately or included with the course okay uh, James says is this a program for training or is it a trading software well <coughs> it's actually kind of both the training is the rules I give you in the videos and in the hand-on-hand -hand type of learning type of mentorship because I tell you what to look for these are strategies and with strategies there's a difference because we're not just blindly taking every signal. There's way to trade strategies that are conservative. There's way to trade strategies aggressively. And I share with you all the things I've accumulated in 37 years so that you can decide what you want to pick and choose from while keeping the basic core of the strategy. That's the training. That's the training portion of it. Now, the actual uh, software are the add-ons with the up and down arrows so that you, you know that you can add these to MT4, to Ninja Trader, to TradeStation or to, uh, to uh, Metastock, and that generates buy and sell arrows so that you can learn from these. You can see if you're in sync with them. They should be used for learning tools, not simply to rely on them. Uh, and most of our students, after they know the strategies, will simply you know, know when a signal is being generated after a couple of weeks anyway. Okay? Um, you're more than welcome, Deborah. I think the best thing is possibly, if you're really serious about taking your trading to the next level, contact anyone of the trading consultants right there you see the email below uh, trading at protraderstrategies.com or you can call them directly at the number provided 310-598-6677 they can work with you with payment plans if you're interested in getting a strategy you don't have to worry about coming up with a lump sum you can have a payment plan together you can just purchase this 37 dollars deal but if you want to get much more information about an actual strategies that really work in any market, any time frame, talk to them and they can fill you in with different discounts and different packages we have. It's a lot of great free information, but as I stated in the first five minutes, we are all about educating you. We want you to learn this information so that you can ultimately not have to rely on anyone else, not even myself. Just rely on yourself and feel that, you know what, I've got it down, I feel comfortable, I can make my own trading decisions and I don't have to spend all these thousands and thousands of dollars on a program that I don't even understand. I don't even understand how they're generating these signals. 
So we want to empower you with this information so you can make your own trading decisions. It's my opinion that that's the only way to become consistent in the market by making your own trading decision. This is what helped me to become consistent and this is what I teach all of my course members. Okay. I hope this helps and I want to thank you all for attending today. Thank you so much. As we close up here, thank you to Andrew Keene for uh, inviting all of his attendees and all of his uh, subscribers to come and hear us present today. I really look forward to all of you uh, purchasing that great $37 deal and I look forward to all of you becoming members of Specialist Trading. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time and be sure to take advantage of that and $37 and become a member of Specialist Trading. Bye-bye.